So let's go through the process of making a name sign. So you'll notice that it is mandatory that you make one and you're going to need to bring it to class every week. So the easiest way to do it, I think, is to first sign into your Fresno State email or use your Gmail. You do need to have a Google account to do this because we're going to use Google Drive. If you do Command T, you can open up a new tab and go to drive.google.com. And you'll notice it's going to bring you to your Google Documents where you can create drawings from scratch, but I actually made a template for you, so you don't need to do that. You actually just need to see where it says click here to make a nameplate. So you're going to click here. Now, this is not going to let you type on it because you're going to need to make a copy. So that's going to be really important that you go over here to the file menu and you choose file, make a copy. Make that bigger. File, make a copy. File, make a copy. So I'm going to make a copy. And I'm going to rename this. Now anything I name needs to have something meaningful for the title. It should say CI149. It should have your name. So this is my name, so I'll put Alice Keeler. And then this is my nameplate or my name sign. So make sure that you put something like that on there. So that's super important. And then go ahead and click OK. And so it's now going to create a copy. It will not let you make a copy if you are not signed in to your, either your Gmail account, your Google account, or your uh, Fresno State Google Apps account. So make sure you sign into one of those first. So something to take notice of is that this blue share button in the upper right hand corner is private. Do you see that padlock on there? That's going to be a problem because I won't be able to print your sign if it's private. So you do want to click on this blue share button. So go ahead and click on the blue share button. And then what you're looking for here is that this document is private and we want to change it. So let's go ahead and click on change. And you can leave it as private if you want, but I'm going to change it to anyone with the link. This is just kind of good practice. Anyone with the link. I'm going to hit save. And so now anyone with the link can view. So it's going to make it a little bit easier for you, but what you really want to do is scroll down just a little bit. If you're on a Mac that's two fingers, you're going to use two fingers to scroll up and down on the trackpad. And right here where it says invite people, you're going to invite me, Mrs. Keeler at gmail.com. Mrs. Keeler at gmail.com. I'm going to zoom in on that. Mrs. Keeler at gmail.com. Okay. And you see that I can edit. You can give me can view if you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm not going to mess with it unless I need to. Uh, please, please, please uncheck this checkbox where it says notify people via email. Uncheck that, por favor. I do not want a hundred emails uh, saying it's been shared. It's just going to show up in my Google Drive. It's going to be awesome. So I go ahead and click share and save. And I say okay. I said, hey, you know, you're not sending out an email. I'm like, yeah, I know. Okay, so on this then, I'm just going to, where it says participant name here, I'm going to double, triple click, just like click a whole bunch of times until the whole participant name here is highlighted. And I'm going to type my name. And then I come up to the other one and I triple click. I just keep clicking until the whole thing is highlighted. And I put my name there also. And that's it. That's all you have to do. So you're going to make a copy. You're going to make sure you share it with me, Mrs. Keeler at gmail.com. And you're going to type your name in two places. Done.